Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Thank you so much for joining me for another in the Distress Ink and Oxide Colour Combination Series. Today we're going to be looking at Squeeze Lemonade. So this is a lovely bright yellow, perfect for your summery colours, but I think you could also fit it into autumn and fall as well. So we, what we're going to do is swatch this. We're going to see how it compares with other yellows in the range. And then we're going to also do two colour combinations with it using other Distress Oxide colours. If you've not joined me before, I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, of course, to leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this particular colour. Will you be purchasing it? And talking purchasing, all the details are down below if you'd like to browse this particular colour or any of the other Distress Oxides or tools that I'm using in the video. Now, as always, the first thing I'm going to do is swatch this onto white cardstock. So bright white cardstock is usually the colour that we would most commonly Put this on so I always think this is the best place to start so just blending it with one of my blending brushes into the end here this is a smooth white cardstock it's actually a stamping cardstock I like this because it takes mediums really well and it's perfectly smooth so you can see there it is a nice bright yellow okay now looking at the label it's pr a pretty good match. It's probably quite difficult to get yellow wrong, you'd think, but you can have more mustard yellows, more brownie yellows, more green yellows. So this is a really good match compared to the label, which is important when you're purchasing either online or in a shop, because of course you can't actually swatch the color usually. You just have to go with what the label says. So yeah, definitely one that's pretty close by the label. So let's then have a look at our color chart. Now this color chart is available for you to download at home. And this one is not filled in. So you fill it in yourself with the colors that you have. And then you can see at a glance which one you've got. Now, we don't actually have that many yellows in the Distress Ink and Oxide range. So we can see at the top here is our squeeze lemonade. Now I have laminated my chart with a matte laminating pouch. So that does give it more of a frosted look, um, but you can still see that is our squeeze lemonade there. Mustard seed is a much more sort of orange, a darker tone, uh, a much warmer yellow there. Then we're going into greens with shabby shutters. And then coming down to the bottom here, we've got fossilized amber. Again, this is warmer. This is kind of going more of a softer yellow as well into sort of your peaches. And again, scattered straw, definitely into the peaches. So I think Squeeze Lemonade really does stand on its own for a bright, light colored yellow. So moving on to our first color combination. Now both these combinations are nice and bright, really quite summery, um, but I love them. This one will go really well with florals. So I've actually gone with ripe persimmon and picked raspberry, but I'm going to go with the yellow through to the orange into the uh, pink because this way just flows better because of course there is yellow in orange. Ripe persimmon is kind of a dark coral colour, so it's got a hint of, it's got a lot of pink in it actually, quite a hint of pink, pink in there, but it's also warmer, so it's more towards the yellow. So that's why I'm going to put it in this order. So let's go next with the ripe persimmon. Now we may find, because I've blended the yellow a few moments ago and it's already dried, that we need to apply more squeeze lemonade to get a really good blend through the two colours here, but we'll see how we go. Sometimes, depending on, of course, the weather and the humidity in the air, sometimes that remains damp for a while. Other times, it just dries really quickly. So it looks there like I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to go back into the solid yellow. Now, the ripe persimmon is a much brighter colour, a deeper colour. So I'm going to use my yellow to blend it up into it rather than the other way round. If I do it the other way round, I will pretty much lose all of my squeezed lemonade. So I keep reapplying my ink to my brush, but I always start where the colour is the most solid. I don't try starting along the blend line there. Otherwise, I'm just going to lay a big blob of yellow down where I've started blending that out. There we go, isn't that just beautiful? I love that. Now let's just give our mat a little wipe here. I'm just going to use my little folded over piece of vellum just to hold the strip still without getting any ink on my fingers. And apply this first of all, nice and solid on the end here. Working round in circles always, never swiping side to side. And the same when I'm loading my brush as well. 
I tend to do a sort of curve and that gets rather than just getting one angle of the bristles it causes sort of gets a few now I'll probably do it quite quickly so you don't notice but that that's the intention anyway so now I've got that solid part filled in I'm going to start working into the right persimmon so just starting to go in circles over the blend line there and as you work off the ink that's already on your brush, you'll find that it fades out. I'm going to come back to what's on my right persimmon and just really sort of make sure that that, that is solid through there, that we really can see the colour before the blend lines get there. So there. Okay, happy with that. I do always look at it at a couple of angles because if I just tilt this for you, you can probably see we've got some shine on there. That's where the ink's damp. And when you've got patchy damp areas, it's sometimes hard to see if your blending is nice and accurate. But if I just hold that up, you can see that's a nice blend between the three colours. So there's our first colour combination, picked raspberry, ripe persimmon and squeezed lemonade. So let's take a look at another. So this time I'm going cooler with some blues and greens. So I'm going to bring in my squeezed lemonade to the very end of my blending strip. Now, of course, I do like to create these blended swatches so that I've got a reference for myself for later on. But you could also do this on any scraps of paper, maybe even in a journal so that you can keep them all to hand. So I've got around about a quarter there of the squeezed lemonade and I could well come back to that. Then I'm going into cracked pistachio. Again, thinking about moving into the blue, I want to work my way through from the warmer yellow to the cooler blue. And by this way, I've got the kind of middleman, the green, the cracked pistachio here, to buffer between the two because there's obviously yellow in green. There's also blue in green as well. So it fits really nicely between the two. Now, cracked pistachio is a much, um, much lighter colour, paler colour, so it always, I always find the paler colours take a little bit more working to get the, to build the colour up, but they get there. There we go, so then I'm going to come back with my squeezed lemonade on my brush at the moment and just have a go at blending that without adding any more ink. There we go, just small circles. I think that's actually worked really nicely. I probably don't need to do much more to that at the moment, so I'm happy with that blend. Then I'm going to go into Salvage Patina, which is, it is a blue, but it is a slightly warmer blue. It is um, almost a teal, so it's going to work lovely into the green. I probably went a little bit far down with the um, cracked pistachio so I'm happy to go up into that a bit further. I know the Mermaid Lagoon, Lagoon is a really bright bold colour so because all of these are quite pale almost pastel sort of colours I'm not going to put too much of the Mermaid Lagoon on the end so I can come up a bit further into the cracked pistachio here with the salvage patina. There we go that's actually worked really nicely without needing to go back in with my um, cracked pistachio brush and let's just turn this round so I'm not catching my fingers. And let's just put a bit more of the salvage patina almost up to the end here. So the Mermaid Lagoon is just going to be almost a shadow on the end, a nice bright bold shadow. Just picking up a little bit, like I say, I know this is a really bright bold colour. It's fast becoming one of my favourite blues, probably because it still does have that hint of green in it. So it's not sort of your royal blue, it's like a very bright teal. So just capturing the end there, working that almost as if I'm blending just into the end. And then I'm going to come back to my salvage patina and just fade that line out along there so it's not too dark. There we go. I'm quite happy with that touch of blue on the end. Gorgeous, fantastic. If you wanted it as a sort of an underwater scene, a tropical beach scene, something like that, this is perfect. So we have got Mermaid Lagoon, we've got Salvage Patina, and we've got Cracked Pistachio along with our focal colour today, which is Squeezed Lemonade.
So there we have the two new colour combinations for you to try out at home. If you'd like to see any of the other Distress Ink and Oxide colours reviewed in this way, I have an entire playlist that you'll find just here. And I'd love it if you could subscribe to my channel for more videos like this just up here. Thank you everybody, I'll see you again very soon.